The Holy Father, in many of his homilies lately, has been focusing on the topic of prayer specifically, primarily because I think he sees a lot of things we don't. Um, being the Vicar of Christ, he's able to see, in many ways, the actions of the world, uh, the wars that are going on uh, because of religious wars and acts of terrorism. But not only that, he's, he's also seeing in the Western world how even the Western world has become much more uh, distant from belief in God, the value of prayer, um, based on many of the decisions they've made in terms of policies that have come out. For example, abortion on demand, um, legalized euthanasia, changing of the definition of marriage, etc. I mean, recently we just even heard in, in Canada of a little girl who was uh, euthanized or at least was provided with assisted suicide, and, um, bec and it was legalized. The government allowed it. You know, that's kind of a false mercy. These are not merciful acts. These are, these are false mercies that, that maybe are comfortable for us, that we don't see someone suffering, but they're not really entering the mystery of suffering itself. And so we really have lost our way in terms of how to understand not only ourselves, but what our experiences truly are. And so the Holy Father calls us back to prayer, which is uh, connecting ourselves with God. Now, when we talk about prayer, uh, it's important to kind of notice two things. One, that the reason why we pray, human beings pray, is because we're made to pray. We're created in a way that we can connect to God and be with God. A human person is very different than a horse, than, an a, than uh, a dog, a rock, a tree, a star, whatever you want to call it. Human beings are created in a way that is specific to having an encounter with the mystery of God. And so human beings are made in two very uh, real purposes. One is to adore God, to love God above all things. That's one of why we're created. We're, we're there to worship Him. And the second reason why we're, we're created is to serve Him, is to serve God in a very special way. And so whatever God needs of us, we need to be attentive to what God wants us to do because we're called to serve Him. Now, once we're not doing that, once we're lost from the communication with God to understand what His mystery is, we don't know His heart. We don't know God's mind. We're not in tune with His wisdom and knowledge and, and, and infinity and mystery and uh, the mysteries of why things are. And so we're kind of distant from that. And so we're, our, our service will be in some way also kind of lacking. Prayer for a lot of people, uh, sadly, becomes a uh, kind of a, uh, an expression of, I want to give God my problems. So you tell God all your problems, you tell him all your needs, you're telling him what's going on, you always come to him when you're, when you're a needy person, which is fine. That's fine. It's okay to tell God everything you need and everything you're feeling and everything you're going through. That's perfect. But that's only one side of the conversation. The other side of the conversation is, Lord, how are you? How are you feeling? What do you need? How can I be of service to you? How do I worship you? Those things are also part of the conversation. In the church, we have this rule called lex orandi determines lex credendi, which means the way you pray determines what you believe. So if, if you're not praying, you're not going to Mass, or you're not reading your Bible, you're not praying a rosary, you're not meditating, you're not doing anything. There's no connection between you and God the way God wants you to. Therefore, what you believe is going to be weakened or skewed, or dare I even say, lost. Let's remember, folks, faith can be lost. And that, if that happens, then, then we're in a whole lot of trouble with regard to our projection of the future and, and what we really want humanity to be. And so the Holy Father is calling on everyone, get back to connecting with God. That's what you're made for. That's what you're created for, to connect with the Lord and find His infinite mystery. Now, by doing that, then our actions will be filled with grace then whatever we do will be in accord with the will of God, the mind of God, which is always to save people, to help them, to love them, and above all, to save the world that he very much loves.